How y'all doing, Ralph here, Ralph Customs. Uh, we've got a frame to build. Let's see how it goes. So regular subscribers, well, uh, regular listeners will know that we last saw this jigged up. So the rear axle pillbox contraptions are in the right place for the back wheel to give us the ground clearance we want, as is the headstock. That's in the right place to give us the angle of the dangle. Yeah, the rake that we want, 35 degrees I use, and the ground clearance at the front. So now what I do, is offer these tubes up to the sump and come to uh, an agreement, if you like. We, we just miss, we go to the, the widest side and then move it out a bit and then measure and it's, it works out four and three quarters from the bench, from the edge of the bench. Suits like, that's gonna be symmetrical to the bike. That's it bang on in the middle like that, like that right? Now, <clears throat> First thing I do is work out where this bit of box section is going to go. I've, I've cut it off on the bandsaw and then I've shaped the ends with my flappy wheel to fit nicely on that frame tube. Um, and because this is inch and this is inch and a quarter, we need an eighth spacer underneath it so it sits right. Now I'm just working out now where I want uh, my upright's going to go, behind the engine. I'll probably go and measure mine, I might try and just copy it like. And then we can tack this down. We can make sure it's square and true and everyone's happy. And we tack this to the bench. Uh, and then, from that point, we do an odd bod junior and run rails up, if you know what I mean. And same at the back. And fucking kick the fucking backbone down to point to the back wheels and the job's a good one so that's the first thing is get our tax in place all right so next up we can work out these bottom rails that go up to the headstock and i've got a guide here that shows me how many inches per every 10 degrees so i can work roughly the length that i need to go down here and i can use my split rule there to get the angle of the dangle that i need so I've just worked that out and I'll bring that over. I use my angle finder on this then, although you don't need to. I could just offer it up to the job light, you know, to, to the tube as I'm bending it. But I'll, I'll use the guide on my uh, bender over there to give me that. I know I need two at 45 inches long. First bend starts at 15 and it is so many degrees. I don't know what it is yet. That's that. I know, so ignoring the test pieces. Yeah, fucking hell. It's, I've not done a frame for a little while, so I'm a bit rusty. But there's the first two, look. We bent them up 67 degrees. We ended up making them longer at the bottom. And uh, we had issues with flattening. Is the, where's the first one? Let me show you. I'm not happy. I wasn't happy with that, is what fucked me up. Too flat. It's, it's, the bender's a lovely bit of kit, but on this uh, heavier tube, this inch and a quarter tube, if you're not careful, it squashes it like. It's a bit fucking like it ain't the right size for it, but it is. It is the right size. So anyway, that's the first two. And um, what I need to do now is trim these up with my cut-off disc and shape them with my flappy wheel to fit into the headstock. I do believe 
on mine. Let me see if I go and have a look. I think I came up straight and then kicked in. But I'm not 100%, but we'll have a look. We might need to put another bend, another bend in, another little bend in there, like. There we go, so we have, yeah, we did put a bit of a, bit of a bend in there. We'll get them trimmed up. Maybe pull them back a bit. Increase that bend a little bit. Then it could be a little bit twitter, but uh, not, it's not crucial. You know, the radiator's got to sit there. It's got to miss the exhaust and it's got to hang in place, which is uh, always needs a bit of room. It's really tight on mine, like, so yeah. That's the two front rails uh, cut and bent into shape, and I just need to trim these fucking ends off. Don't I like this? Of a method, you know, I'll mark them up and cut them off with a cut off saw and then scallop them out with the uh, flappy wheel, like I said, and get them fitting nicely. Right, oh, so with those two tacked in, tacked in place, we can tackle the uh, top tube, can't we? So what it needs to do is run along top of the engine light, pass the carbs in the air filters, then drop down towards the axle plates because we can't get a straight line. So we're going to stagger it and nothing at all wrong with that. Uh, to get a straight line we'd have to have longer forks and stuff like it just the geometry ain't there for it really so what i do is i use this this is inch and a half seamless tube and it's tougher than a butcher's fucking dog i can't bend it so we do that look we take a little pie cut out of it and then we bend that so we've shaped this to fit on the edge stock and that's no mean feat in itself like and then we're going to tweak that. We're going to cold form that now that I've cut it. If I can, I might have to warm it up. Uh, then we're going to check it for angle, weld it up, clean it up. Jobs are good and like. And there is, just after the bend here, where are we? Here. Just after the bend where, that I'm showing you, this upright comes up and cops the end of it like. So it's fucking strong as fuck. So yeah, that's what we're on with now. Just cut this and scalloped and shaped and tweaked, give it a polish as well, because it were looking a bit tarnished. Um, and we're ready to form the kink, weld it up, get this tacked in. And as if by magic, this is gonna be one of the quickest frame build videos I've ever done, isn't it? Because I'm just fucking updating you as I go along like, so. As if by magic, the top tube is in, and pointing down, not quite to the actual plates, but the frame rails can, the seat rails can drop off from that point. It's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. What I'm going to do next is get this upright in. <coughs> then we can look at making this, the uh, engine mounts if we want, because everything will be in place. So we can go over to the lathe. We can start machining. Give myself a respite from fucking fabrication work. Cause it's doity, it's fucking doity work. Cutting and grinding and bending. The fucking seal's tougher than a butcher's dog. <clears throat> I must be getting frail in my old age. So yeah. So we've nearly done half a frame, if you like. The front half. Um, it has complications because we have the engine mounts and we have another rail to come in here. There's another bit of tube to come in here as a strengthener. <clears throat> Just clear that fucking dingleberry. Get off there. Yeah. And uh, then we've got the rear to fucking do, like, which is a pain in the arse. Because of this, uh, I don't like doing them full width. I'm not doing these front rails, the width of the rear rails, because they look fucking stupid. You know what I mean? It needs a bit of fucking sexy waist to it. It needs a shape like a nice good woman, hey? Eh? Like a young Hedy Lamar. <laughs> if you know, you know. Right, so I might, I need to fucking dog leg. We have a dog leg here. Comes down in along and it starts the bend starts there 
which is where the wheel comes to near enough so it looks good yeah so we can either well we'll get this one in that's next so i'm just going to get a bit of this super duper tough fucking tube polish another bit up cut a bit to the right length and get it welded in place tapped in and then we'll look at making engine plates and stuff which is next on the fucking agenda ain't it I'm a rider just because we've not really uh, featured it much in this build it's a workhorse bless it little fucking band saw going away chopping up the tube and just getting on the seat rails now and I want two bits at 27 and a bit like it don't matter because we're going to cut that end off that's too long like 27 and a bit but we found a piece didn't we so we're going to use that that goes on the later pile this comes through here look <coughs> so we've got the beginnings of a nice looking frame don't we got the upright in top tube in backbone line front rails in now we're doing the fucking seat rails we and we know that we want stop it we're over to the bending bench look We've got two, 20, 20 out of top up, but 27 and a half or whatever them bits off cut was like, so it's fine. We're going to start to bend at nine. And then from nine, we're going to go about 30 degrees because we've used this to work it out. We know how wide it is. We know how long it is. And happy fucking days. So I'm not really showing me working out very clearly like, but that's how I do it I know that the width I know the width of the actual plates where the tube needs to be and I know how thick the top tube is so we take that off the width divide the width in half and that's this it's five and a quarter five and a quarter from the inside of that axle tube if you like the bit of the goes on the axle plate and then it starts to bend here at nine and it needs to go up there which is your five and a quarter so we put an angle finder on that then and we work out with a split roll old-fashioned split roll up <clears throat> yeah the old-fashioned split roll on the job to get that fucking dude oh look me five and a quarter here's me working out and we put that on it and we line it up and we go well it says just over 30 degrees so we'll try one at 30 and see what that does like go from there Oh, she's gathering pace, lads. Gathering pace. So now we've got one of them seat rails on. Look. Try and eye it. Oh, it's not easy looking through the camera. See the string in the middle? We have got five and three quarters from the edge of the string to the inside edge. And at the top, it's just a fraction over. But we're not worried about that. And that's its fucking picture. So... All we've got to do now is exactly the same with this bit of tube that I've bent. So just, just copy that one, will you? Just fucking put that on here. Make sure that it fucking fits where you've marked. Ain't it? Like that. <clears throat> Should be beat. Should be beat. As if by magic. Shazam! Pam! Chicka licka boom! Uh, yeah, there's another one in the opposing side. So now we have uh, we've marked up 12 inches from the spindle up, which gives us tight. If the if the wheel's right forward, it'll, it'll hit this. Yeah, that we're going to put in. But we want to want to gain a bit of fucking room under the seat, like you know what I mean. We need room, and you're never going to have your fucking no. Don't have it right at the front line. Have it in the middle. So. I've marked 12 inches from the spindle, the uh, virtual spindle, and then I've put a straight edge across and I've eyeballed through that bit of box section. Remember that bit of box section we put in? Yeah. And I've made another mark on the other side and we're going to have a bit of tubing. Ignore the, the marks that have been rubbed out. They're not the, they're not the ones. We're going to have a bit of tubing that side of it. So... Uh, we just need to top and tail this so that it sits over the tube noise. Get it in and get it measured and get it squared and get it fucking right. And then that's the top of the frame done. 
just leaves the bottom legs yeah these are the oddest bit on the job and then engine mounts and this one don't forget this one right after don't forget that fucker yeah we need that don't we yes we do so we need that i might do that an inch anyway that's where we're at so i'm going to trim this up get it tacked in and then we've done that that three quarters of the frame line the tubing I uh, would draw your attention to the uh, angle finder box that's really in a nice zero. I've not, there's no trickery involved. I've not zeroed it out on that bit of tube. I zeroed it out on the fucking bench. You've got, oh shit. Sure. I'm a bit of shit. Here we go, that's better. So, yeah, zero, 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 zero. And if you can eye it up to that bit of box section, it's Fucking truer than true. Half oh, a degree, my fucking horse. Hi, Dioda. So, my next day now, it's fucking morning o'clock. And in the cold light of day, we will survey the progress. We have got the tubes in pretty much, haven't we? It's just these. And these are a cunt. These back ones are right. You've got to come straight, cross, and up. And I always fuck it up. I can't, I'm whispering because I don't want myself to hear. I always fuck it up. Expect one or two test pieces. There's a bit of rear that I could use actually. There's a test piece here, look. See, look, that's got a bend in it. I started bending it the wrong way. It's one of the front rails and I bent it towards the short end instead of bending it towards the long end. Um, so that is almost one of there, isn't it? You know what I mean? That goes in there like that. No, I'm not showing you very well. That goes in there like that. Yeah? Bob's your answer. So, we just need it to dog leg across and miss the wheel. It needs to stay wide to this point. That's the, that's the uh, coup de gras like. That's, that's the brief. It needs to stay wide to this point and then it can fuck off into here. So we need the staggered. The staggered action, which is always uh, difficult for me to achieve. I can't seem to get my head around the fact that it's going to fucking angle it, angle it. I, well, I'll work it out. Rightio, so, with those back rails in, I won't punish you with making me watch fucking three test pieces until I worked out the angle of the dangle. Uh, or bore you with me making some slugs that make up this joint like either side of this joint so you can just see them there in all their fucking glory like so there's the frame rails done pretty much um leaves this one doesn't it i want one from the bottom of this headstock or thereabouts across here so I'll get that done again off camera. You don't need to see me cutting and fucking welding tube like, but that's my plan. And I might use inch for that. I'm gonna go and have a look, see what I used on my fucker. Come with me, look. Go and have a look. What did we use on my fucking triumph, look? Hey, oh, look at that. Classic. Oh, look at this as well. Hey, the old fucking Yammer R British Bobber. But it's not in front end. Lovely that is, isn't it? Pretty little thing. Right, back to the fucking job in hand, Ralph. We used inch and a quarter on mine, defo. Nice and fat and fucking chunky. So, inch and a quarter it is. Uh, and then one across the back, I'll show you. So, yeah, one across the back, about there. Just to really fucking give it some strength, like. I'm not sure that might get moved. Not sure. Not sure that might get moved. Hey, use words. Use your words, Ralph. And then one in there. So, we're nearly there. Okie okay, fucking dokie. So, with those rails in and looking sweet, we shall proceed with the engine mountains, which is lathe work. So, that's happy days. Okay, so these are going to be the. This is going to be the top engine mount. Yeah, 
So we're going to turn this outside down to 25 mil, and with the power of high-speed steel and with digital readout, we should be able to do it in one fucking bite of the apple, which is at about there, uh, 25.4 to be precise. Let's see what happens, eh? That ain't right, is it? Something wrong now with the old digital readout. Bear with. Take a fucking cut. See what's what. Right. Give that a measure. 28.85. 28.9, so I have a set of digital readout. X is 28.5, enter, and I'll wind it into 25.4, and there she goes, Captain. And I know that we want two bits at least inch and a half long, so we'll just take this all the way up to the uh, chuck. There'll be a loop. And you can join me when I'm uh, done that bit. Right, with that turned down, we can move a fucking oil, we'll move a lube, and come in with a centre drill. I like fucking seeing fat and on them. Speed it up. Speed it up, but drilling. So we're in with a centre drill. Nice and steady light. And now I'm just going to open that out with my 10 mil pilot drill. Now I'm in with 12 mil clearance. So just chew that out. That's not the happiest fucking camper in the world, is it? But here we be. All right, last up for the boring of the boring. I'm going to slow things down a bit more. Hold on, bear with. We need that in the middle and that to the far end and that yes look at that so we want a 12 millimeter deep uh pocket for the head of the bolt to go into so we'll use an end mill look three quarter end mill gives a bit of clearance on the old 12 mil cap head and we just nice and steady see that top one's not cutting properly well, three lots of shirley temples coming off the old curly whirlies but nothing from the top which is fine and we'll just wind this in. There's six. We're on twelve. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Put half out your way. Break that edge. Break that edge. It's been in a bit slow for that, but we'll be beat. And now it goes in like so. The hole's not deep enough for me to show it all the way in, like, but that's where it goes. So now, actually, to part this off an inch and a half long, I think, I think inch and a half's going to do it. Let me go and have a measure and I'll be back. I know, so we've drilled it, we've bored it, we've turned it, we're just going to uh, part it off now. All being well, if things go according to plan. going to break that egg, like so, and this will come off in my hand if it don't burn me in the process. Come on, you bugger. Boosh. Happy days. So that's, oh, needs to clean up on that face, obviously, and I'll make another one the same, and then we can get these fitted to the frame. Hey, so with those dummied in, there's uh, three layers of masking tape behind each one because uh, on mine it was fucking tighter than a nun's gusset when I came to get the engine back in after it had been powder coated. So I'll give myself a bit of room on this one, not that I'm building it up. But anyway, here's those things tied up. Look, bit of fucking bar, the countersunk on the outside, and then we're gonna have these kind of in here, look, like that. So that's the next is to trim those up something like that I think and get them in place okay so 
we have drawn out from our CAD our cardboard aided design where we're going to plate these bad boys and then it's just the back mounts just it's a big big thing that is that's four plates eight different threaded bosses and so on and so forth that's next on the agenda but we'll get his plates cut uh, get them tacked in and go from there uh, way up here we go then so they're in well ready to be well did 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 far one gooey <coughs> and that my friends is enough for one video so the next one join me on the next one when i'll be machining these rear engine mount and making plates out of six mil plate i think i think we'll use a bit of six mil i think i went over the top on mine use 10 mil or something it don't need to be that thick um but i'm going to spin up some a load of threaded chats that weld on here and make the plates that hold the engine together in the frame not together just hold it in the frame it's, it's a bit different to mine this there are differences there you go so if you've enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and catch me on the next one where you'll see me do those rear engine mounts and finish the frame off like hold on oh yeah there you go it just leaves me as always to say thanks for watching check out all the bump membership merchandise and all my friends in the description below if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up if it's a huge difference uh give us a sub then you'll keep getting regular updates and all that shizzle yeah i'll see you on the next one and we'll get this book finished and on its wheels big love everyone see you soon